Yeah, my people. Just realize that the wrong way around. Need to edit that. Needs to edit that. Yeah, my people. Yeah, like I said, majority of people don't know still. And this is why Jamaica, this is why the Caribbean, Jamaican having, having the problem. And this is why Jamaica, this is why the Caribbean, Jamaican having, having the problem. Don't even know themselves, cause, like I say, the flag is a. The flag is a new covenant. So that Jamaican flag is a new covenant. So that new covenant take us out of the old covenant which attach us to our lineage, to our our imperial family. Why you think there's so many statues of Pharaoh in e in England? Pharaoh statues in in England. That's like out. Oh, that's like your family. That's why imperial mean pharaoh. That's why you could go and go and see the imperial war museum. All of these things are there, but obviously we're not educated to the level of knowing yourself. Because even in the word like independent, when you say you're independent, that means you're cutting yourself away from the source and cutting yourself away from the source is no good because when you cut yourself away from the source that means you're you're now dead imagine like a plug say a plug that needs operating say like you have a, a scissors whatever you have a microwave and the plug is there the source is is connected microwave can work if you take that plug and say the microwave is not independent the microwave not gonna work so obviously when you're uneducated you can't work you're not you can't function you're not on the same level you don't have the same ability so when you plug that out from the source you're gonna lose everything you're gonna lose your lineage you're gonna lose your king. You're gonna lose your crown. You're gonna lose your bloodline. You're gonna lose everything because he plugged out. So when when the new covenant came under the independence, that just totally done it. So we have to realize that it's so real. It's so real when it comes to us. Because remember, this was in 16, 1962, yeah? So that was the covenant in 1962. And in 1962, as I say, the independent came in. In 1962. After that, before that, the Jama that there was no actual Jamaican flag. The Jamaican flag was the, the flag of Great Britain. So the British flag with the, the red and white and blue, that was the flag. That was the original flag. That was actually Jamaica flag because Jamaica was a part of that covenant. That's why in ensign the word Britain, you have covenant. Yeah? And with, within Britain, you had two crowns, especially to denote the people of the land. You had the imperial crown and you had the royal crown. The royal crown are for foreigners, the imperial crown are for like native. Yeah? Very important. And that imperial crown is denoting the bloodline. Because before that, before Great Britain, you had England. England, red and white flag, the red and white denoting the bloodline. And that's the imperial bloodline. Because King Edward, which is the Black Prince, which is a Moor, 
he went to Granada, the kingdom of Granada, in Spain, and he was given the imperial crown because he was a part of the kingdom of Wessex, the imperial family. And this this was before England existed. This is this is the history that they don't really let us know or we're not educated to. So that imperial crown is denoting that these are the protectors of the bloodline, the red and white bloodline, yeah? And that red and white bloodline is coming all the way from Egypt. The red and white bloodline, yeah? And that red and white bloodline is coming all the way from Egypt. So look up Imperium, meaning Pharaoh. So the red and white is denoting a crown. There's the red crown for the lower Nile, and there's the white crown for the upper Nile. That's why even in the kingdom of Congo, we had the red and white, again, the red cross in Congo, the kingdom of Congo, because Congo is on the upper Nile. They're all the way in on the upper Nile. So as far as you go, you're going to find Congo down. So these are all one dynasty, the crown, yeah? And this is why it's so important to understand who we are in this in this situation, because again, majority of us think we're citizens, but we're not citizens. We're nationals. Nationals are different. National meaning you're of a bloodline. Citizen meaning you're just relevant through again some form of form of citizenship. That's all it means. So. Again, just to give you that, I give you a background, a little rundown. So I give you, I got some comments. What the connection between Egypt and Jamaica? The people, the blood. Yes, brother. All right. So that's the connection, the people, the blood. So, all right. Let me, all right. Look, let me just get up. This about I was going through this, yeah. So, like I was saying, yeah, from here, this is the new covenant. This is the new covenant, meaning a new flag, yeah. The flag of Jamaica adapted in all um, 6th of August 1962. Independence, yeah. Like I say, if you're independent, that means. Again, you don't have no you don't have no knowledge. You're not connected to the source. You are dead. You, your rights. Your you don't have no rights to know. Our equality. That's why again. Britain rule Jamaica to this day, yeah. Because we cut off ourselves from our king, our lord, our riches, our crown. And this was so look look this was the first proposal. This is I think it looks like a Ashanti flag. Yeah. First proposal. So look, yeah. Just because I got it mixed up. So look, in sixteen fifty five, yeah, to the eighteen hundred Great Britain, yeah. This is the flag. This was the Jamaican flag, so this is the imperial crown, colonial flag of Jamaica. This was the flag. So this is the old covenant. So if we remove from the old covenant, yeah? So if we have been removed from the old covenant, that means we are, we've lost our crown. We don't have our bloodline. Our bloodline has been cut off because this is where the bloodline is. This was the Jamaican flag also, but this was in 1872. Uh, 1906 yeah so i need to rearrange that and this was the jamaican flag also as you can see there there's the crocodile crocodile here and then this was in 1957 so like 1957 yeah so this was the actual jamaican flag in 1957 so this same from the british nationality at 1948 yeah 
you can see the coat of arms there, yeah? So again, this was the flag of Jamaica in that time, in the English time, in the, in, in the time of England, this was the actual Jamaica flag. It's denoting the actual bloodline, very important. But you're talking about the bloodline of the imperial crown because England was an imperial country because of all of the nations that was there. This is the imperial crown. And this is the crown of St. Edward. St. Edward is the Moor. Um, again, he's the one that built Westminster Palace. If you go to Westminster Abbey, you could see him in his exact depiction. Moor, black, you will see him exactly how he looks. No different. And um, again, that's why you have the black ruby. You never used to say black in those days. You'll say Moor in those days. So that's a Moor. That's why the, the imperial crown is denoting a bloodline that's why you have the imperial crown of ethiopia but they did not in this bloodline again the red crown this is the bloodline yeah and the white crown together you will have the cross so together it looks like this yeah the two powerful ones that's why it's important to know this yeah and obviously i give you that's why i look i break down look imperium yeah imperial absolute power yeah, so we have we we used to have absolute power when we know ourselves. Now we don't, as you can see, fit a right to command. So we have we have the right as a people to command, but we don't know what it is. So imperium from imperial or from in pero pero meaning pharaoh pharaoh great house pharetic yeah. It goes there. So yeah, that that's why you have the. The, the Act of Supremacy, 1558, and the Crown Procedure Act, 1600. All of these things, yeah? A lot of people don't know. Um, so that's why we see with the Court of Arms, very important. You have the bloodline, again. You have the title of people, meaning Lord or Noble, just like, again, us as the bloodline. You have to have the male and female, because... We're dealing with a bloodline, a matriarch and a patriarch, yeah? And this symbol is very important, yeah? This is the crocodile. This is an Egyptian symbol a lot of people did, didn't know about, yeah? Egyptian symbol a lot of people didn't know, appreciate, but like, yeah, but it's an Egyptian people lot, a symbol that a lot of people didn't know about. So I'm going to show you that Egyptian symbol because look, I was saying again, yeah? This is the same symbol there, but... The crocodile was green. Yeah, they changed the they changed the the green so that you, you kinda forget about your blood bloodline, your lineage. So but look at it, look this crocodile, yeah. This crocodile is let me go to the to what I'm talking about. Oh this is law history. Law history. Law history. So this crocodile is this crocodile, yeah? So this crocodile is called Segbet, yeah? Segbet. Segbet um, was an ancient Egyptian deity, you know, complex, you understand? It is your nature. He was, again, the now crocodile, yeah? The crocodile, the West African crocodile. Like, he was the god of the croc god of the Nile, yeah? That's uh, so why, um, look, um, his parents set or... Kemu and Nefti. Nefti, she holds the she holds the red crown. Yeah? So this is Nefti. Yeah? Nefertiti, Nefti. This is the ancient. Again, that's why my last name is Web. She's the goddess of weaving, meaning Web, yeah. So you could find again a statue of Segbet and Amuntet the third, yeah, together. So like this is some re it's realistic the blood this is a realistic bloodline but let me show let me break it down again all right so look now yeah because when you're talking about christ now yeah christ i it gives you a form of messiah i give you the complex also you could find it um christos mass is it messiah yeah but in egypt yeah in Egypt, that term that term can also denote Messia, yeah, or another term, um, anointed one. 
and it keeps going. So you could have um, mess, 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 yeah? It's an Egyptian meaning, Egyptian. That, that is the root word for Messiah, yeah? Mess, root word for Messiah, yeah? Or, or that's how it's spelled M S H, yeah? That's the root word for Messiah. Usually, and it says in the hieroglyphics of Christ, Chris, meaning mommy, the root word meaning of the term Christ, Messiah, mommy. It's usually, again, all of those kings, they are anointed. Yeah, that's why all of the Egyptian kings are anointed. That's why they are anointed. Well, they are actual gods. That's why Egypt is full of gods. Yeah, so that's why you talk about Christ. You're talking about the original. Yeah, original. That's why, again, in the Cleopatra time, because Cleopatra was a god, and she had a son called, you know, Caesaron. Yeah, or Caesarion. Yeah, as you can see. Yeah. Little Caesar. This is where, again, they're getting their deity from, yeah, from this, yeah. So this is why it's so important. But it's did not. It's coming from this. So this is why. This is why it's so important to know our bloodline. So this look on the wall. You still find Segbet, yeah. You with um Nefertiti, and look, it already showed you that they already had boats. So they already traveled already. Like this is a picture. This is um the book of the gates in the tomb of Ramesses the first. They already showed you had boats. Yeah? Um Segbek Neferu, yeah. So look, this is in the you could find this in the British Museum. You could find that's why again we are in the British Museum. Like we are actually in the British Museum. When you look around you're looking at yourself, the not the nose is blown off, and all of these things is because that's us. This is our bloodline from the again the twelfth dynasty or the twentieth dynasty, yeah. And and that's what I'm saying from Amun Tet the third. So we have to remember um Segbet Neferu, yeah, meaning the beloved, yeah. That's why we have to understand. So, like I say, we already been like. We only been programmed to damage our psychology from slavery so that we can be separated or independent from our dependent for independent from our bloodline you cannot so that is a that is a psychological issue that is insane for us to be independent from your blood you cannot be independent from your blood. That's why you have to know yourself. That's why it's an important thing, you know, in the mystery school system to know yourself. You know, this, this is a, these are important lessons, psychological development that we require as people. We require psychological development. That means you're going to know yourself. So you could have, you could be connected to the source. You could have your own connection. So, so let me... You could be connected to the source. You could have your own connection. So, so let me so let me go back to where I was. Well, so just to show you, that's the that that's the actual connection. That's the root. Yeah. So remember the bloodline again, so everyone can understand. That's the bloodline. So before that, it was this. So this is the um again. This is the crown, Castile, and crown, king of Leon. So you see the red and white, the bloodline? Because, again, the Moors was ruling in Spain. The Moorish kingdom of Granada. Again, St. James, I could say, fought against the Muslim Moors and took over. That's why you have the Order of St. Diego. Yeah? Order of St. Diego. So this is, again... And that's why this was the Jamaican flag before in fifteen sixteen, yeah. So I have to re restructure the the presentation because I like I realize it it's not the structure of from there to there when it's have to be British. 
so that's why again that's why you see this it's the bloodline yeah so that's why again we come back to the red and white bloodline yeah, again that's why you see this it's the bloodline yeah so that's why again we come back to the red and white bloodline together you have the red and white the cross yeah um and that's is the two powerful ones so that's when you get into again the quest the court of art very important so now look so this this yeah it's important to understand so this this like i'll give you the, all of the details this was done by again william sang sophia he was a archbishop for canterbury he actually done the court of arms yeah so this archbishops for canterbury he was a part of the again augustinian and he, if you know about augustinian there is there are the as the Aristotelian augustinius so aristlinius again these are moors these are moors that came to came to uh, came to the, uh, say cumbria that's where you could find the moors that was in cumbria these are from the august augustines yeah so he this person studied you know in in egypt in in egypt under the augustinians yeah so look that's why I see this now, this, the Royal House of Windsor, that's why you could find in the Royal House of Windsor, Jamaica and certain other Caribbean islands, yeah? Because that Royal House is going back to, again, going back to the Imperial Crown, going back to the bloodline, because if you're part of a bloodline, you're a part of a house, a house is a bloodline, yeah? And... That's why, again, when you say the Commonwealth realm, you're talking about the imperial. That's why there was a, 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 a empire. Yeah, you're talking about the imperial realm and the royal realm because this is a kingdom within a kingdom. And that kingdom is coming from, so the imperial kingdom is coming all the way from Egypt. And then the royal kingdom is just the kingdom of England. Yeah, so that denotes, again, as you see, family bloodline yeah house that's what house means yeah so why you would have to question the reason for that because they have to defend the imperial children and we were the imperial children yeah that's why you could get the dynasties that's how dynasties are coming from egypt dynasties so this is the same as family lineage house that's why you could get the dynasties that's how dynasties are coming from egypt dynasties so this is the same as family lineage house yeah and the realm meaning again royal so it's very important to understand so before and that's why i say we're we're national because in in jamaica the counties of jamaica is cornwell middlesex and surrey yeah so we are citizens of cornwell middlesex and surrey yeah so these was the kingdom of that in this time that's why the bloodlines is still kept. So the kingdom of Mercia, this is where you get the, the the styling of the Jamaican flag. But they don't put the Mercia flag. So this is the imperial house. This is the in, this is a, a kingdom that was well before England established, yeah. And it's it's very important. And you have Wessex. This is again where King Edward, the prince black prince is from. And this little, and you could find King Offa, the Black King, and you have Middle Saxon, Middle Sex. This is again; these are all of the same thing. Yeah, you have Surrey. This is the Olden Surrey. So it's is the this is coming from the county that that makes us that give us the bloodline. We're nationals. Yeah, this is why it's, it's important to understand. That's why we're on the parishes. Parishes are church land meaning kirk kirk meaning lord's house so pharaohs they have house lords and that's that's why I even look when you say tino when you say tino that word tino yeah when you say tino the original word is noble or lord yeah so we're the lord's children we went in the lord's land yeah that's why it's important to know be educated when you say church 
original word for church is if you look it up you can see old english seri going up to latin kirk and kirk then you'll get Kur, um korean and again kirk it brings you back to kirk meaning lord's or house yeah the lord's house yeah that's why it's, these are some these are some education that's why in england you have the house lord's house yeah that's why it's, these are some these are some education that's why in england you have the house of lords presidency act 15 right that's why it's, these are some these are some education that's why in england you have the house of lords presidency act 15 right again sold again us or, or, or just shipped us over to the caribbean yeah so again very important you know these are all the houses that were fighting because there was war going on and the order of christ of congo again because certain of the congo people congo kings they were studying in rome they again the christ but they're talking about the original bloodline the bloodline again i was mentioned about yeah that's why you have the when you have the military order of christ they're talking about the order that that is to again wipe out the bloodline or 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 remove the bloodline this is where the cruise the ninth templar comes in from the bloodline because these were like poor soldiers sent to fight but like i say if you're poor you don't really know nothing so you're gonna kill the try to kill all the children the bloodline that's why as you can see on it with the pope you have the red because they have like i say the key to the bloodline like you say the knowledge but the knowledge is again universal that's why even the first see so where where they're mixing the fake the fake bloodline like jesus christ yeah they're incorporating it in within the ships because that's when the company that's this is when again like i say the independent the dead bodies start like i mean as in corporations start coming in so they start incorporating jesus with christ just like it, like say jesus of Luxburg. this is an actual ship and this was done by the house of Churador. a lot of people don't know so the house of the rose yeah and uh, this is like say antonio row is a right is a written record of ships of the english Churador navy because these are all navy these are all these were all royal people that done all of this thing to us yeah yeah and that's why you could find jesus of luxembourg was was a carrick built in the free city of luxembourg yeah from for elizabeth the first like i say they, they were trying to take us out of the covenant from then i say luxembourg so this is where you get that jesus from yeah because look this was in six fifteen yeah this is where you get it yeah this is where you're getting the ideas yeah so look all right so look again so this is so you can still see the bloodline the red and white it doesn't change even in imperial it's just i get the imperial because they have to they have to come from somewhere they have to take the bloodline that's why you see the red the red robe because they're talking about the bloodline yeah so when you're saying look saint justice of alexandra so when you're talking about justice now you're talking about justice now you're talking about jesus because like i say they adapted they they changed they surnamed us so justice of like in jerusalem yeah you can find it important going justice of tiberius yeah this is the closest depiction because this justice of tiberius was a Gal galilean yeah in the first century so it, they don't know this was from um flavius jo josephus yeah at the time yeah so flavius josephus uh, flavius justice you know timius flavius justice in the time like i say they were fighting again over like pretenders that came tried to pretend that's why it, the scriptures show some clear clear thing because look shows you why why i mean look, it goes again this is as it is right is it isaiah 45 oh, it says for um jacob my 
servant's sake and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though, um, for thou have not knew me. So surname, yeah? So remember the surname I'm talking about. So look. So look. Show you all the surnames, yeah? Acts one twenty two, yeah? It said appointed to two. Yeah, um, you have Joseph and Barbarus, who was surnamed jo- Justus and Matthias, yeah? And look again, yeah? Acts 18, 7, yeah? Look. And he departed hence and entered into a certain man's house named Justus, yeah? So, and one, again, who worship God. Whom house joined heart to the synagogue, yeah? So look, um, Galatians 4, 7, goes, and Jesus, which is called justice, yeah? As you can see, because again, who was circumcised, is it? Yeah, that's also Jesus was called justice, as you can see. And then you could go into it again, because again, it's the surname, it's the surname that, that, that really is is taken about so we have again um acts again fifteen twenty two, yeah you have um surnames being changed so when they talk about the surnames right so like i say you have flavius justice and flavius justice is a part of again justice of tiberius which Again, Josephus, because that's why I say Joseph, and Joseph was renamed Justice, and they say Joseph is is Jesus' father. So obviously, he's gonna if Joseph is renamed Justice, then Jesus is gonna be named Justice. So this is where the Justice comes in. So this is the real, real bloodline. You know, um, like I say, even Judas was surnamed Barbarus, but I say. The real Judas, he was defending again against the Romans, yeah, um, doing the Quintilius. They were doing a consensus, meaning again, because it's it's against the law to be registered. That's why there are, there are, there are things telling you that you're not supposed to be registered, like again Numbers one two, um, look, and thou shalt not number. The tribe of Levites. So if you're numbering all Israel and they're not supposed to, it's a sin to be registered. You get it? So because um, you're not supposed to, yeah. So we're under a sin by being registered by a foreign entity. You understand? Because look, it shows you again like all of this. Uh, all of this is written down. It's like it's laws. Yeah. That's why it shows you. That's why the Quinterius is a consensus and we're not supposed to be, like I say, recorded like that. That's why it shows you in, even in, um, where is it? Chronicles 21, 7, it says, And David said unto God, Is it not that I commanded the people to be numbered? Even I it is that have sinned and done evil indeed. You get what I'm trying to say? It's real. You're not supposed to number us. We're not supposed to. We can't be numbered. So if you try to number us, it's a problem. We are like we are like the stars. You can't number us. You understand? So we just know that we have the covenant. We know that we have the bloodline. That's all it is. See? So like these are some real, 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 real raps. Like I say, that's why it goes back into this goes back because you can't number the stars if you can't number the stars how are you going to try and number us because again we are of the stars of god like we are gods that's why it says down it that's why you that's why that's what i'm saying if you're talking about voyage if you're talking about voyage yeah to develop our history if you're talking about voyage you could find Mansa Musa, that's before slavery. You could find Musa Muhammad before slavery. You could find um, Hannibal before slavery. You could find Nono, the, there's the Hanno, 
the navigator before slavery you go find these are people that have navigated this was long before it, you could find Nietzsche you could find Nietzsche the second these are all navigated and that's why that's why I give you an example so so they talk about again is it Kemontet again the second this is is it is it high is a high rose is it this is a this was a depicted yeah but you could find it in that tomb it's showing you so is circuit the sea circuit circuit is what you call scot scotter yeah scotter yeah so you have that mercy natan yeah see this this is a fair this is where you get scotland from scot scotland from this is where you call scotland this is the original pharaoh of scotland yeah so again a lot of people don't know this this is the original fear that's why again you have they voyage from egypt to scotland that's why in the throne you could find the stone of scott the stone of stone yeah this pharaoh yeah this pharaoh very important that's why every coronation yeah they have to sit 